if we take tryptophan, which comes from, it's a protein, which you can get from things like beef, chicken, eggs, pork, fish. If your stomach's working properly, it should break down the tryptophan that's in the beef, eggs, eggs, chicken, fish, duck, pork, that kind of thing, lamb, elk, and it should then convert it into serotonin. Okay. And the nutrients that are needed to do this are B6, folate, which comes from green leafy vegetables and is also found in the kidneys, and iron. Then serotonin is converted to melatonin. Now, la, tonin, which helps us to sleep and have healthy skin. And that conversion requires B5, a methyl donor, and zinc. That's ZN for zinc. That's it. If you're able to, if you're able to metabolize tryptophan to serotonin to melatonin, there's no need for a SSRI, a serotonin-specific reuptake inhibitor. There's no need for all these medications. Now it's true that um, you may need to metabolize dopamine and a few other nutrients properly. But this is simple. Um, this is simple. The thing that we want to take a look at is diagnosing what our patients are deficient in. So I keep this biochemical pathway in mind with my patients. I'm looking at this biochemical pathway with my patients to see. Is it that they're having trouble digesting and absorbing protein in their stomach? When they, or are they not eating enough protein so they don't have enough tryptophan? Or are they deficient in certain minerals, like iron or zinc? Which, if their stomach's not working properly, then they are. And it's very often, um, it, it's very common in this country that Americans under, are under a tremendous amount of stress. And when you're under stress, you become depleted in zinc. And you also have trouble making stomach acid or using too much stomach acid or having not enough stomach acid because you're just always stressed out. A lot of stress in the stomach. The stomach deals with emotions. Stomach and emotions go together. So if that's the case, then you'd want to help the patient that way, emotionally, structurally, dealing with the bones that relate to the stomach, and chemically by possibly prescribing to them some type of nutrient such as zinc or a methyl donor or B5. Some of the methyl donors, uh, just to share with you since, since you're watching, are B6, um, I'm sorry, that's a, that's a sulfur compound, take that out. Some of the methyl donors would be trimethylglycine. Another methyl donor would be um, MSM, not one of my favorites, but MSM is a methyl donor. Betaine or betaine hydrochloride. Okay, so knowing a little bit about how to help your patients. Um, if you're a healthcare provider, at least you want to, you know, I want to be able to help my patients properly. So I need to know what are a few of the methyl donors, and um, I need to know how I'm gonna, what I'm going to do to help them to not have depression. Because 
if they're if they're deficient in one of these things, it could cause them to have depression. For Jim Carrey, it was um, it was the tryptophan itself that he was deficient in. So he needed to uh, he ended up taking apparently, according to the little interview I saw of him on TV, he ended up taking the amino acid itself because probably his stomach's not working quite right. Okay, and God, you know, help him. I mean, how could his stomach work properly? He's in all those movies pro all the time, and it's kind of stressful and upsetting. And then Keith Ledger, who died, Keith Ledger, who died not too long ago, the famous actor in Batman, he was on antidepressants, you know. So if people have enough of these, these nutrients in their blood and in their system and they're metabolizing them properly, they don't get depressed. So wouldn't it make sense to just simply prescribe whatever nutrient they're most deficient in, and then they don't have to be depressed. Prescribe them high levels of B6, high doses of B6 if necessary. Prescribe them high doses of folate. Prescribe them high doses of iron if it's necessary, if they're anemic, right? I mean, anemia should be treated properly, chemically, structurally, and emotionally, but I'm just going over the biochemical approach. And this is, this is what happens with thyroid. People have an emotional imbalance and if it can be addressed holistically without having to give them synthetic medications that have side effects, as we know, even though they work well, they have side effects, then why not do it that way? You know, Then they can get off the nutrients soon. When you get rid of the cause of the problem, they don't need nutrients, they don't need medication.